Hi, all you SPMEs out there. Today's video has three points, and you're going to want to stick around because the third point is a secret as to how we can get onto Ingram without paying anything. So let's get into it. The topic that we're discussing today is Ingram Spark versus Amazon KDP. Can you publish on both? Now, this is a very common question, not from new authors. Sometimes new authors are wondering which platform should you choose to go with, you know, and for whatever reason, maybe you don't like Amazon or whatever it might be, you would choose Ingram Spark. So you're trying to decide between the two. But for most authors, it is not this question. The real question is once you've actually got your book onto Amazon, should you perhaps go on to the next level, which is putting your book onto, K onto Ingram Spark? But then again, isn't it already being distributed through the massive distribution network that is Amazon. And so maybe it's not really worth your time. And also Ingram Spark charges fees both for the ISBNs and also for even reviewing your books, whether we're talking your EPUB digital book or your paperback book that you're doing with Ingram Spark. And this can be very frustrating for authors to figure out which is the right solution for them. And this is what we are going to discuss in today's video. So this is Chris Baird from selfpublishingmadeeasynow.com where self-publishing doesn't have to be so hard. Hit the subscribe button if you find my content useful and that will help me know that it's worth your while to keep on producing more videos. That's really what I'm here for is to help you in yours as we're getting closer to our 300th video mark. And check below in the description and grab a copy of my absolutely free self-publishing checklist to make sure that you are not skipping any of the important steps when it comes to self-publishing your book and getting your book to sell. So let's get into it. From my own story, when I first got started, I started on Amazon like so many authors, self-published authors starting off on Amazon. And I started seeing sales in my books. So that was great. Started with the Kindle and moved on to KDP. And KDP, for those who don't know, Kindle Direct Publishing, that was usually we were dealing with the Kindle books that we were putting on their Mobi files, which now are EPUBs, that we're putting out there onto the Amazon platform. And now it's KDP Print. It used to be CreateSpace. They've switched names every now and then and they buy up companies and such. But it's now KDP Print that we're looking at here for, for this particular one. And then the final thing is the audiobooks, putting it on ACX Audible getting my books onto those markets and Apple as well, iTunes, I believe they also push it through there and maybe some others as well. And so we already have a massive distribution just sticking inside of the Amazon network itself. But then I learned that there are risks associated with staying on only one of the platforms. In particular, people who are doing things that could sometimes seem a little innocent, like for example, people with their promo codes, giving out promo codes for people to leave reviews and stuff, and then Amazon ACX accusing them of abusing the system and as a result, getting their accounts frozen. And this is something I do not believe it is worth actually doing. I did have several years ago, ACX come after me and freeze my account for a little bit, but then they opened it up and now allowed me to, they didn't ever freeze my earnings, but stopped me from publishing new books, but uh, it was a misunderstanding understanding and was clarified. And so uh, they allowed me to continue publishing. But the fact is, they can shut your account down whenever they want. For example, uh, some people have had their accounts threatened as a result of shifting their prices too much on their paperbacks. That's one thing that could get you in trouble. Or maybe it's getting reviews from your friends and family or other authors with review swaps. These are all things that could theoretically potentially get your account shut down. And if you're only on Amazon, this is going to get you in trouble and you're going to have all of your money disappear immediately. So I began to realize that there is a risk associated with only being on the one platform. So I started moving my books to Smashwords where we're selling to an even broader audience. I chose them over draft to digital based upon the distribution channels and the fact that I already know how to create the books in the right format. And in terms of the returns, it looked like a better deal for me personally. I did explore some of the other ones, but uh, I found Smashwords for me was the clear winner. And for hardbacks, it was Lulu because I, people started commenting. They were making a ton of sales on hardback books of all things. I figure if you have a paperback, why do you need a hardback? It's because some people like the way your books look on the bookshelf and the hardbacks will look a lot better. And the final thing I had was that I heard that Ingram Spark had promo codes 
that would make it possible for me to use those promo codes for the review costs and then also for the getting free ISBNs in Norway. And so that made a big difference in terms of the Ingram Spark side of things. And so I started to put my books on Ingram Spark, starting with my best performers on Amazon print, only to discover that yes, I was getting higher sales on Ingram Spark for the same books compared to Amazon. So Ingram Spark is the clear winner. The downside is, is that your ISBN code can cost you $150 for one, and the review process on Ingram Spark is $50. So now we're already at $200 in order to put a book on Ingram Spark, and how long will it take you to earn that back? Well, for me, it would take a couple months uh, for a given book to earn that money back, so it's still worth it, but in terms of running an experiment to even see if it would work, the price was a little bit prohibitive even for me to take the chance on that, but we're going to get into the secret here. So the first thing I want to say on Ingram Spark versus Amazon KDP, can you publish on both? Yes, you can publish on both, and it is a great idea because they have different distribution channels and it's going to maximize the number of readers we're going to be able to hit with our books that we're putting out there. Ingram Spark is going to cost you, since as I mentioned, you have to pay for the ISBN and the cost of review. On the positive side, you can put both your ebook and your paperback book onto Ingram Spark for only $50 combined. Or if you want to do one or the other, I think it was also like $25 or $50. I, mean, I think it was $50. So you almost can get the ebook on there for free. This was a mistake I was making earlier in not doing both. After all, I have a Kindle version. Why do I need an ebook version? And the answer is because we want to maximize the distribution. We do not know which devices people are using to get their books and how. How, which format. Maybe they don't want to use the Kindle device, they want to use something else, and this will give them that flexibility. In addition to, of course, Smashwords and Lulu, but we're focusing right now on KDP and Ingram Spark. And the secret answer of the day is that many countries like Canada and Norway will give you free ISBNs. Now in Norway, you have to submit them into the library and there's a bunch of things. There's less restrictions in Norway than there are in Canada, but whatever country you're coming from, you might check on that. Secondly, I've heard recently that they've changed the policies on the US, that in the US you can get the Ingram Spark ISBNs. Now that may be a mistake, let me know below if I'm incorrect on that, but that was something I had heard recently. And you can Google to find promo codes from Ingram Spark for free uh, reviews of your book, which means you can get your books onto the print on demand and the ebook versions for free if you are playing these games correctly. And it is really just a game, understanding the rules of the game, understanding the correct strategy of the game, and then following through. And that is what this channel is about, is making sure you're not missing any of that. So those are the those are the key things that I would highly suggest. If you are not on Ingram Spark, you should get over there immediately. But first start with Amazon, one thing at a time at selfpublishingmadeeasynow.com. We like to keep it simple and easy. And that is one of the things, do not overwhelm yourself too much at once because when you're doing covers <clears throat> for Ingram Spark, it can be very painful. There's a whole bunch of things that are not involved that, as opposed to when you're doing it for KDP print. So, and Lulu is even more painful than Ingram Spark in my personal opinion. Now we all have our own understandings and views of these, but each of these sites has its advantages and disadvantages. And I actually prefer uh, KDP best, KDP print, but the others give me better sales. So you definitely need to consider it. So my question for you is, are you publishing on Amazon and Ingram Spark in addition? If you are, write yes below in the comments. And if you aren't, write no below in the comments so I know exactly where you're coming from to make sure that the videos I'm producing will be able to hit your needs better. And check up above me here for more video answers to your self-publishing questions. Thank you.